There's a song written by a 12-year-old Grace Vanderwall. I don't know my name. I don't play by the rules of the game. So you say, I'm lost, trying to get found in an ocean of people. I think these lyrics completely defines the story of many youths out here, including me. As a child, in our country, in our society, we have this common ambition to become either a doctor or an engineer. And that specially happens when we are scoring good grades in our standards. And so did that happen with me. Whenever anyone used to come and ask me, Nikita, what do you want to be once you grow up? I want to be a doctor. <laughs> I literally used to study only the day before my exam, and somehow I ranked first or second in my class. And that was it. That was enough to keep the motivation up that I might be a doctor in the future. <laughs> Can you believe me? I remember I was in my ninth standard when one of my senior came up with an opportunity to me. It was for a duet dance drama. She would be playing the role of a housewife and I had to play the character of a husband, of a violent husband. I had no idea what acting was all about. I was so hesitated, but Something happened, something different happened. The girl, who was known to be very much staying in her comfort zone, stepped out of it and took that opportunity. It was not about being on the stage. It was not about performing in front of people. But it was about acting and performing like someone else, like some different personality. Rude, violent, destructive. In my surprise, I was appreciated for my performance. And that gave me the encouragement, the motivation. And gradually, I started getting fascinated with acting. The end of 10th standard, when we have to choose our stream, science, commerce, or arts, thankfully, I had known by then that I am not meant for medical at all. So I chose commerce. If you guys are aware, I was really bashed for my looks, for my physical appearance, when I had won the title of Miss Nepal World. Actually, back in the school, the first preference that went for the central character of any dance drama was to the prettiest looking girl of the lot. And that, of course, was not me. And let me tell you, I am an introvert person. I cannot really speak up, mingle with anyone so easily. So for a few days of the rehearsals, I used to stay quiet. I used to keep that urge, that passion of me to play the central character within myself. I used to sit in the restroom, in the washroom for hours long thinking of if I was playing the lead role, the central character, how I would have performed. Fortunately, I did go to the choreographers. I walked out of my comfort zone. I went and spoke to the choreographers. I asked them if I could just give it a try. It so happened that any dance drama happened in my school, I was playing the lead role. I was in the central character. By the end of 12th, I was sure I wanted to pursue my career into acting. I was so sure. But of course I could not, because I had to have a certificate of a bachelor's degree with me. Because what if I fail? I need to have a backup. What is the society going to say? What are my relatives going to say? So I joined Christ University in Bangalore for Bachelors of Business Management. I survived there for like six months. I dropped out. I looked for modeling jobs there in Bangalore. 
I did a few photo shoots, few ramps, and then the next curriculum year had already come. I joined diploma course in fashion communication in JD Institute of Fashion Technology in Bangalore. Again, survived for another four or five months maybe. By now, I was dropped out twice. And my modeling career also was not going anywhere. I was rejected. I was rejected everywhere. I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea what I was doing. I could not see any path. I could not see any opportunity. All I used to do was stay back at home, watch movies all day long, and cry my heart out that I want to see myself in that big screen, in movies someday. I used to cry. Just in a few months' time, a miracle happened. I found an opportunity on Facebook. It was ramp modeling in the Himalayan Times TGIF Nepal Fashion Week 2017. I was not sure if I would be selected here or not, but in all sorts of dilemma, in all sorts of confusion, I came down to Kathmandu for the very first time for the auditions. I gave my auditions, I flew back to Bangalore. I had not heard from the organizations of my selection, but still I started preparing myself. I started working, practicing ramp walk every single day. I was called for the show. I came here, I did my job. Every single day of the show, I was recognized. Every single day in the newspaper, my pictures were there. So many high profile people from the fashion industry themselves came and appreciated me for my walk. Since Miss Nepal auditions were round the corner, they even suggested me that I should apply for Miss Nepal. Again, lots of hesitation, lots of confusion. I had no idea if it was something I wanted to do. But since I had nothing else to do, nowhere to go, I went for the auditions. I, get, I got selected. In, on the first day or the second day of the trainings itself, I was like, I'm dropping out. I do not think I'm able to give what it requires. I do not think I am the right person for it, for the beauty pageant. But since the opportunity had come my way, I did not want to leave it. And I went along with it, with the fear of failure though. But on June 2nd, 2017, I was crowned as the Miss Nepal World 2017. And today, I'm working in a Nepali movie. I am acting. Yeah. The time when I was going through lots of anxieties and all sorts of frustration and was trying really hard to see positive in everything that I was going through, I, to convince myself, I used to tell myself that do not worry, this is a story being created to be narrated as the story behind your success, Nikita. Do not worry. I know there's a long way to go, a very long way to go still, but I'm glad that I'm standing here at this platform, speaking up my story, narrating my story for the witness of progress. And at last, I would like to quote Theodore Roosevelt. In any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. The worst thing you can do is nothing. So walk out, so walk out of your comfort zone whenever required. 
and take the opportunities that comes along your way. Because opportunities do not come twice and you never know what they might lead you to. Believe in yourself, believe in your capabilities, miracles do happen. Thank you.